Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. Hi everybody, Dave Fanjoy here, and today I'll be showing you the new Black Knight miniature that just arrived for uh, from a promotion uh, for me to, to show you guys what it is. So, you'll recall the old Black Knight was based on art from a long time ago. The miniature looks like this. Here's an example. This particular piece appears in the tech manual book, I believe. Anyway, the new Black Knight uh, has different art and uh, one has recently been produced in plastic and should become available here in the near future. So I'm going to show you everything that uh, comes with it. So first it comes with a little hex base. It has the, the company information on the bottom. It comes with uh, torso pieces. It comes in a lot of parts which makes it easier to, to customize. There's the upper torso, lower torso, uh, and the head. It uh, comes with the right arm with the PPC, and you'll see the hand isn't on there. And that's because it comes with two different options for hands. It comes with a closed fist and uh, an open hand. Let's see there, so you can do it however you like. Uh, similar deal with the left arm here. Uh, the difference here is again, it has the open hand and the closed fist, your preference, but it also uh, comes with the sword for the variants of the Black Knight that have a sword. Push that over here. Uh, legs are interesting. Uh, we have the, the right leg, uh, just a regular leg. Uh, left leg, there's actually two choices. There's a straight leg for a standing pose and a uh, bent leg if you want to do a running pose. And I want to point out that it goes together pretty easily, which I'll demonstrate here in a minute. But one of the keys is that uh, each one of these um, uh, pieces has kind of a key in it. You'll see here there's a, a notch there and a corresponding slot in the torso piece here. So it kind of locks into place about like that. And if for whatever reason you wanted to move more than the uh, allowed play there, you could shave that piece off and put the arms and legs at whatever uh, angle you wanted. And I'll do that with my CA glue here. So I'll put a little dab here, just enough to hold it together on the one leg. And without even setting that down, I'll do the same thing on the left leg. And again, I'm using the standing pose one. Then I will connect those together. Get the left leg forward, and the right leg back. And those kind of lock into place. It's about as easy as that. <clears throat> and I will set those aside to dry here in just a minute. While I'm doing that, I'll plan what I'm going to do on the uh, right arm here. I'm going to use the closed fist, I think, today. Set this guy down to dry. And you'll see that uh, there's kind of a, a pentagonal shaped socket there and a pentagonal shape uh, main, mating part here on the hand. So you pretty much it looks like you've got some different angles at which you could put the hand. There's only one or two that really seem to make sense, so about like that. So that's what we're going to do. Again, a little, little dab of glue here. And you'll also note, normally when I'm assembling uh, miniatures, I'll, um, I tend to pin them with steel rods, and that makes them uh, the joints a lot more sturdy. And I'm intentionally not doing this today, uh, mostly because it's not really necessary with this mini. It fits together uh, pretty well. About like that. Set that aside to dry also. And so it's less important uh, to pin. I think I'm going to do the sword on this one. Kind of dry fit that there. It should go about like that. So 
It's got kind of two connection points, one there and one there, so I'll touch them both with the glue. hold it for just a little bit. If you like to use an accelerator, you could do that. I generally don't. So I'll set that there. While these are drying, uh, I'll take the pieces that I'm not going to use, so the extra left hands and the extra right hand. Get those out of the way. <clears throat> Let's see. So I think Next, there's a couple of different ways you could go about this. A lot of times I will use uh, a green stuff or epoxy putty to stick a figure to a base. Uh, I think today I'm just going to do it with the CA glue. So uh, just a little, little dab on the feet here for the parts that are actually going to be on the hex base. Push it into place. And it might end up bracing that a little bit uh, later with some more, more glue. Alright, while the, uh, the torso is drying there, uh, I'm going to start putting the arms on here. first. Now the default arm position here uh, kind of leans out pretty far to the side, which I think is kind of a cool pose, but uh, it might not be what you always want to do. So I think the right arm is an example where uh, you might decide at some point, see it's pretty it's kind of firing out to the side. At some point you might decide you want to have an arm that's a little bit closer to the body, so uh, you would just shave off part of that little connecting piece there if you wanted that look. All right, add a little bit of glue here to the other side, left arm with the sword. second there and going back to the torso here I'll just put a little, little dab on top should be enough to hold it in place All right, I'm assembling these two pieces here Finally, I've got the head. Now, sometimes you might want to add some uh, antennas up here on the those two little stands there, or you can leave them as is. Uh, for this particular one, I'm just going to leave it as is. I might add some antennas later. A little, little dab of glue should be enough to get the head in place there. And there you go. So. That's our uh, Black Knight assembled, as quick as that. I had to be careful with him, I gotta let him, let him dry now. But uh, yeah, that's the, the look of the new, new Black Knight. So, thanks for watching. We certainly hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and leave your questions or comments below. Follow us on Facebook at Battletech Camo Specs Online. Check out our website at camospecs.com. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Heat critical, shutdown imminent, time for Pop-Tarts.